Welcome to a new what I eat in a day. I just recovered from a cold, so if my voice is weird, that's why. Um, anyway, I had an apple that wasn't crisp anymore, so I thought it would be perfect to make apple and cinnamon oats. So I started by dicing the apple, then I basically just added oats and water to a pot before adding in the apples. I also added a pinch of salt, cardamom, ground cloves, and cinnamon. Then I let this cook until it got thick and creamy. I made it simple this day, so I just topped it with cinnamon and hemp seeds. I would have added pea milk, but I, I didn't, <laughs> so yeah. For lunch I had a salad that is quite similar to a salad I have posted on my website, I will link that below, but instead of that dressing I made a tahini dressing. And instead of regular chickpeas I added roasted chickpeas on top which has the perfect crunch. Right after lunch, I had kombucha. This one had an elderflower and raspberry flavor. It was very refreshing, but I'm not super into carbonated drinks to be honest, but it was fun to try kombucha. I think this was my second time ever trying it, or a third maybe. In the afternoon, I wasn't super hungry because you know, the appetite is not on point when you're sick, but I had this pumpkin seed bar. I will link the recipe below. As you may know, I like to throw together my dinners based on ingredients I already have at home. This day, I had mushrooms, scallions, and pak choy in the fridge, so I decided to make some kind of uh, stir fry. My voice, <laughs> sorry. Um, so first, I added avocado oil to a pan, then I added the mushrooms and garlic and let it cook for a while before I added the scallions. <laughs> After a few minutes, I added the pak choy and a grated carrot. For more flavor, I added pea tamari and I added a little bit more later off camera, so that's not all that I added. For protein, I added frozen green peas and yeah, then I let everything cook until the peas had thawed. But after they had thawed, I cooked them for a few more minutes just to, you know, incorporate all of the flavors. Oh. 
I also seasoned it with some ground ginger. I had been eating so much ginger when I had a cold. It's very nice, but I had a ginger root that I put in the freezer because yeah, it's just like a hack to make it last longer and you can grate it easier, but I didn't feel like grating it. Anyway, I served everything with jasmine rice because I think that's one of the best ways to eat stir fries. Of course, I had to add some avocado as well. I really love dinners like this, but the thing is, when I get a cold, it's not like things don't taste anything. It's just that even the tastiest foods taste kind of weird, but I really do think that this dish had potential and I truly believe that it did taste good um despite the, like apart from the cold i don't know what to say anyway that's everything i ate this day thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe